thank you again for following my journey so today I am 21 weeks almost 22 weeks so I need to do an update for 20 week and 21 week update so the last time I left you I told you I had my 20 week ultrasound scan coming up so we had the scan um, it went mostly well <laughs> um, they were able to measure the baby's body parts everything except for the heart and the they couldn't get a good look at her face so I have to go back in three weeks to get another scan. And I was like, what in the world? And I kept trying everything I could to get the baby to twist and turn. But she kept having her um, her body facing, her back facing the ultrasound tech. So they really couldn't get good measurements on the heart and like, you know, the face and making sure everything measured good. They could see the heart from a distance. Um, the lady said she didn't see any concerns, but they just want to really get a good thorough look at the heart and everything to make sure everything measures out good so that was kind of a hassle <laughs> and so but I'm grateful we got to see the heartbeat and we got a little bit of the flip face and so we were there for a long time trying to get the baby to cooperate but <laughs> and she's still a girl they were able to confirm the gender we found out it was a girl at like 13 week scan they suspected it was a girl but they didn't know for sure and then we got the ultrasound um, gender reveal scan done and it was a girl so I'm grateful y'all I'm grateful that everything is going good and um, you know I'm grateful that we're still here and the baby's still here and the baby's still doing good um, so for I would say for 20 weeks I didn't have a lot of symptom changes well okay I did have a lot of big symptom change my boobs my boobs are gigantic <laughs> They are huge. I had to buy new bras this past week, and I'm like the biggest I've ever been in my whole entire life. I'm picking up weight. I don't know for sure how much weight I've gained, but I'm up there. <laughs> my boobs are gigantic. They're real sensitive and sore, like I've been breastfeeding. It's really strange, and sometimes a man will come and prop up on me, and I'll be like, no, that hurts. <laughs> And so my boobs are extremely sensitive and it's on off and on but it started at 21 weeks and they're getting bigger <laughs> and I've been having to buy more comfortable bras because it's extremely uncomfortable um, the bras that I had before and I would just come home and rip it off <laughs> I hate wearing bras and it's just extremely uncomfortable because it digs into me so I bought new bras this past week so that's a big big relief <laughs> but they're still extremely sensitive and kind of sore like I don't know how to explain it like like I have to breastfeed that's what it feels like <laughs> for week 21 a new symptom is nausea and throwing out and vomiting and, and it just came out of nowhere I didn't expect it I was at my mother-in-law's house for spring break we went down to North Carolina and um, that whole week I just had a ton of nausea feeling sick and I threw up. I threw up when I got home this past weekend. I was throwing up and I wake up with like a tickle in my throat. And if I brush my teeth this morning, I had to throw up. So it's just coming on all of a sudden like this nausea and vomiting. It's just random. And I think I had this with manual. I don't get morning sickness in the beginning. It's in the middle of my pregnancy. I just get it randomly. And so that's what's going on now because the exact same thing happened with Emmanuel. <laughs> So I don't, all I do is drink ginger ale or I keep water nearby. Everywhere I go, I keep water. I keep water in my car. So when I feel the tingling coming, I can hurry up and drink something. And that keeps the nausea down some. But yeah, I've been really, really nauseous, especially in the morning time. And I still have like the congestion. So those are the two biggest symptoms, the sore boobs, fatigue, and the nausea throwing up this past week it happened at my week, 21st week mark. Um, also for 21 weeks, I can feel the baby on the outside of my belly now. If, and Brandon felt that I always got to catch him. I'm like, hey, for Brandon, come and feel it. And then the baby will start kicking. So he finally felt the baby kick the day before yesterday. <laughs> and he said, oh, wow, something pushed me. I said, yeah, it's the baby. <laughs> so I thought that was so sweet. And I could see him smiling. And he smiled. And I thought it was just so precious. And that can help him make it feel more real for him, too. Because, you know, they don't really go through as much as we do <laughs> and so he thought that was so cool so I definitely feel like straight jabs kicks you could probably see it on the outside of my stomach <laughs> so it's so cool feeling that this week I tried to get Emmanuel to feel it last night and he just said baby tummy 
mommy tummy and I think he's still understanding it you know <laughs> I don't think he fully understand like okay there's another person coming to the house you know <laughs> and he's so spoiled <laughs> but he's been doing good and so I still been collecting you know little baby odds and ends I got my breast pump um, from my insurance I probably talked about that in my last video it's not a very good breast pump so I'm not too sure what kind of pump I'm going to use, um, but I'm going to try my best, y'all, to really try my best to breastfeed and, and try to stick with it. Last year, last, um, with Emmanuel, I stuck with it for six months, but I pumped, and it was extremely exhausting. Um, trying to, you know, pump every two hours, every hour, washing that stuff out, pumping again, and it really took, so, it took a lot of time away from me being able to, you know, bond with the baby and take care of the baby because I'm pumping so darn much. So it was really, really, really hard. Um, Mike, that's my dog barking. <laughs> so I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna. Um, I heard that some insurance companies cover like lactation consultants, and so I'm gonna look into that. Um, I did the La Leche lead last time, so I'm really gonna do my research and prepare myself to try to stick with breastfeeding this time. <laughs> I mean, like actual, you know, breastfeeding. So I'm gonna try my best. But I know that was the hardest part for motherhood for me, especially in the beginning. It was just extremely challenging, but I'm going to try to stick it out. <laughs> but I got my breast pumps. Um, we got baby clothes. So right now I'm working on trying to figure out what stroller system I want, what car seat I want. Uh, I don't know. Do I need a double stroller? And manual's three. Um, so I don't know. So I'm still trying to figure that part out. But other than that, y'all, I'm doing okay. Just the nausea, fatigue sore boobs and I'm hanging in there <laughs> you know my back pain is starting to come back now too I haven't been to the chiropractor in two weeks so that's probably why <laughs> and at night I'm starting to get the pains again in my back um, I haven't been sleeping good at night I toss and turn a lot I don't know I just be worried about the baby I'm scared I'm sleeping my stomach or I'm always worried that I'm hurting the baby like I don't know why I just let that get to me at night and I'm not sleeping good at all I can't find a good position because I'm, I'm so used to sleeping on my stomach you know and sleeping on my back is not as comfortable because my back hurts so I'm not getting good sleep which is not good some days I'll take a Benadryl or something if it's just been really really bad and I just need some rest so I'm, I'm praying that that gets better you know that I'm sleep that I sleep better at night because I just toss and turn and I still have the real vivid dreams, like I'm in a movie. But other than that, we're doing okay. Um, we're still looking at baby names. And I kind of did a survey on social media, like, what's well, a good baby name? And I still don't know. <laughs> and so I was like, okay, I'm going to just let God, you know, just give it to God. He'll give us a name, you know. But some names I did like was Aria, Skyla. I asked Brandon what name he liked, and he told me Serenity. I was so surprised because I had liked that name before, and initially I was going to go with that name, but I don't know, I kind of got away from it. I thought it was kind of long, but he liked Serenity, and me and him both liked that name, so that might be in our top high, <laughs> on the top of our list so far. Um, Nevaeh is pretty. Um, what else? I can't think of it, but I don't know, y'all. I just give it to God. Somehow it will just ding on us, I guess, <laughs> of what name we want to use. So other than that, we're hopeful, y'all, and we're preparing and trying to get everything together for the baby. And I just pray that, you know, we make it through and the delivery goes smoothly and everything goes well, you know. Because I feel like time is moving by faster now. And I'm like, gosh, I'll be 23 weeks in a few days. So it's, it's going by really, not 23 weeks, 22 weeks in a few days. So, um, yeah, it's, I'm getting up there. <laughs> but I really appreciate you guys, your love and support. And any questions or anything I should kind of gear towards. I'm trying to think what else is coming up. I'm grateful I'll, if I make it to 24 weeks, that's considered viability. So I look forward to that, you know, knowing that, you know, if something were to happen, they could, you know, revive the baby after that point. But other than that, I'm doing okay. Um, I guess I'll show you guys a bump. I carry real, real high. I always do. That's what my aunt said, too. And my belly is just real high. But you can see the baby kick on the outside. <laughs> and I rub. I use, um, 
what do I use? Almond oil. Is it almond oil or apricot oil? And I rubbed that on my belly. I didn't get stretch marks with a mayo. I got one stretch mark. And um, I think it all just depends on your genetics and your skin type and your skin elasticity. I don't think it's something you can prevent, you know. Either you're going to get stretch marks or you're not. But I usually don't get stretch marks. I think I got one mark from Emmanuel. At the very end, I had got one stretch mark. But I'll let you see my belly. Let me see if I can get a good view. All right. So this is for, I'll show you. Woo, I'm getting up there, y'all. <laughs> So this is for week um, 21. Let's see if you can see it real good. Big, huge belly, and I carry it real, real high. <laughs> uh, and I just rub oil on the belly. But thank you all again for following my journey, and I'll see you again.